Hi, this is Mike. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install a single line font to be used in Shortcuts a lot. The first thing that I wanted to go over was the definition of a single line font. Now, if you take a look at my screen here, I have view outlines turned on and the regular system font, this is Arial. If you were to use a pen tool, the pen would actually draw the outline of the font. And this is exactly what it would draw. Now a single line font is designed as a single line, thus the name single line font. So if you were to bring this into any machine, cutting machine, and used a pen tool, this is also used in engraving, it would actually just do a single line and it would actually look exactly like this once the writing is done. So basically you would use this if you wanted to emulate a an actual handwriting, I guess you would say, or if you were using a pen tool, whereas a regular system font would just do the outline. Hopefully that makes sense. So let me jump into how to go about installing this. So when you get your font, if you're using, I'm going to show you a Mac and then I'm going to jump in and show you how to do this on the PC. So I have downloaded this single line font graceful using Safari. If you download zipped files using Safari, it will automatically unzip them. We do have additional tutorials on unzipping on our site 3dsvg.com forward slash help if you need additional assistance on unzipping files. Um, this is already unzipped, so all I need to do is double click it. You will see a bunch of different type of files in here. Now for our purposes, for the crafter and for what we're doing, we are going to want to install the TTF and that is true type font and it's as simple as double clicking it and then clicking the install font button and that's it now if you already had the software open sure cuts a lot you will need to close it down and relaunch it in order for you to see that it has been installed or to use it so let me show you i have this installed there's a couple different ways i can do this i can either go to the top right hand corner where it says font and I could look for it or I can go to library up here at the top and fonts and I can also look for it this way now it's going to be under SLF for single line font so let me go all the way down here to S's single line font graceful I'm going to click on it Close this out and you will see that this one has been changed to the same font as above. So let me jump over and show you how to install a font in on a PC. All right, so now I am on the Windows computer and as you can see, I do have the file folder here. It also has been unzipped. I just need to go into that and you will see I have the same options as I did on the Mac. Again, we are going to look for the SLF graceful.ttf, which stands for true type font. And if you can see, I hover over that, it actually tells you that as well. I just need to double click it. It gives you a preview and I need to click install. And that is it. And again, if I had Shortcuts a lot opened, I would need to restart that for it to work. And it would be available in Shortcuts a lot.